Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Bike Plus by Azul. So let's get started. So before we begin, I gotta say that this is a sponsored video, and they explicitly said, do not take it apart. So here we are doing a review. So if you guys seen my previous video on the Azul Quantum Access LAN stick, you guys know that this is like a big brother version of that uh, PC stick, which I still use every single day. Now, there's not much difference as far as what type of software you could run. You'll do Skype, you could do uh, you know office products, uh, productivity stuff, uh, Adobe Acrobat and all that stuff. It runs perfectly fine on this and it runs Windows 10. Now, the biggest question I had behind this was, can it run game? Let's talk about specs a little. This does run on an Intel Atom 8300 series Cherry Tail. Graphic card isn't that great, but it should be enough to run some minimal games that we need. It's got 32 gigabyte disk space, and it's running on two gigs of RAM. Now, the main difference between this and the Azul, it's got more ports, and it's also got USB 3.0. So it's got three USB ports, one USB 2 and two USB 3s, gigabit LAN, and it's got VGA and HDMI. It's got much more input than the Quantum Access. Now, you could actually use this as either a thin client or a desktop client with multiple monitors or anything. Uh, let's get started with throwing some games at it. Now here I've chosen a game that's like space, it's got some 3D elements into it, and let's see how it does on this. And as you can see, it actually runs this perfectly fine. It's got no problems running it at all. It runs pretty smooth, even at a 1080 screen. Now we know it could run some Steam games, and I actually tried a few more, but I'm not gonna put it here in this video. But the main question is, can it run Minecraft? Because I actually wanna set this computer up for my son. Taking a look at this, it seems to run Minecraft perfectly fine. And you can't tell, but Minecraft does take a good amount of resources just to run as far as graphic card and everything wise. It seems to be perfectly playable in this situation. As far as my thoughts on this, this is a heavier computer. It's got some weight to it. It's not light. It, it actually feels like a heavy computer. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got gigabit Ethernet. So I could place it anywhere and I know I'm going to get internet connection. It does get hot on the top. So I wouldn't really place anything on top unless you decide to heat up your cup of coffee on top of it. Then, you know, that's, that's all on you. But um, other than that, it is a pretty good device. I love that the fact that they actually put in multiple uh, USB ports in the back. So now you could stick in a webcam, mouse, keyboard, whatever you want, an extra hard drive or something like that. And it's USB 3.0, so you're not going to really lack in speed. So thanks for watching my review, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it in the comments below. And if you guys want to know where to get this product, all the links are in the description below. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.